Uh, hello, peeps. I'm back again. Uh, first of all, sorry about the uh, Hornby's Centenary catalogue. That video is quite a big one. It's probably one of the biggest videos to date. Um, sorry I did go on quite a bit. But, yep, I had to cover everything, and I've done that now. Looking forward to the Backman announcement, so stay tuned to my channel. Um, in front of me today, for a quick overview, as it were, is the second volume to the um, Model Railway uh, DVD video supplied by Rails of Sheffield. Um, yes, I get this from Rails of Sheffield. The cost is £12.50 plus £4 postage. Really, what I should have done was bought a few more things from Rails of Sheffield, but during January... Uh, Sorry, it's just after Christmas, it's a bit touchy with money, isn't it? So, I just saw it before Christmas being advertised, and I thought, I, I've got to get my hands on it, so I have. So, let's move Rouser Sheffield's uh, delivery note out the way. And this uh, uh, DVD, produced by Studio Scotland Film Production... I can highly recommend this. The first series is really good. Um, more aiming, the first series is more aiming at the beginner. So as, as, you, as you're starting out, you want to move on from a basic train set and you wanted to get a little bit more out of your model railway. So a basic model railway, because it's basically track laid over um, like a ballast sheet, which if you want to do that, is your model railway crack on <laughs> it's all up to the individual whatever makes you happy some people don't bother with scenery they just want to see the trains running it's your model railway crack on as long as it gets you involved that's what that's what it's all about um this second version it's more into the detail and technology of model railways so this time they actually did a uh, proper ballast in and a ballast shoulder and show you different techniques. And obviously we know there are a lot of techniques out there. And again, it's up to individual choice and how you prefer how to do it. Ballast in is quite a, it's, it's quite a, a long, meaningful task. It takes time. And that is one main thing is just to take your time. Just take your time. Do as much and as little as possible when you can. And then obviously you've got gluing setting time. So yes, it does take time. Um, yes. Yeah, ballasting. So proper ballasting shoulder. Um, and also they use a lot of Metcalfed uh, carbon kits. And then show you how to uh, improve them. Which is yeah, looks quite nice to get the... Uh, air gun out and you know spray it over weather it up a bit make it look more realistic along with the locos and rolling stock a bit of weathering and there's also some references to other manufacturers and companies obviously Metcalf being one of them encouraging people to use their cardboard uh, models and uh, making it your own basically and, and it does explain that in here um obviously there's some bit about dcc in here as you know talking about um basically digital control for you know what sort of handsets you know, people want to use uh iphones computers you know to control your trains or just a handset in your hand or or a base station it's up to you and basically they do go through options available and I do highly recommend it because some people like to control their, their their locos through the phones, you know, or through the computer, or just like to sit at an operation desk and have everything there to control. It's up to you, and it does exp it shows you. Um, one manufacturer is mentioned is uh, DCC Concepts. Yes. I do I do use a lot of their uh, components and I do <laughs> yeah I highly recommend them. I do like their components. So yes, a lot of uh manufacturers and obviously 
Uh, there was, I think, Backman was in there. They, they went through quite a lot of, you know, explaining, you know, making it your own, basically. A bit more detailed, a bit more realistic, a bit more realism. And, and, and the production flows quite nicely. I, I found it quite enjoyable, actually. Um, what else to talk about? Uh, I don't know, cover that. Covered... Uh, it is. I'm really impressed with this. I don't know if they're going to make a third production. We have to see. But yes, I do recommend this. Um, yes, um, yeah, Pico as well. We mentioned it had a bit of sh showing you a bit about uh, Pico and what they produce and their track basically. What because that's what they used uh, Pico track, which I like. I like Pico track as well. Uh, whether it's code 100 or code 75, it's you know, and obviously the the double uh, oh nine and engage, it gives you all different scales. So, but mainly this uh, follows double O. Well, it does follow double O because that's one of the main scales. But as you will see on my channel, hopefully soon, I will be doing a few of the other scales. We're looking at engage uh, a later date in the year. Hopefully very soon when I get everything up and running. Yes, all right. Yes, I highly recommend this DVD. I hope there's going to be a third version. I'm not too sure, but yes, if you want yours. Rails of Sheffield for the price of £12.50. £4 postage. Yes, so uh, thank you once again and... Uh, um, by the way, just to let you know, I might have a short break after this uh, video. Um, I need to get some work done on my channel, and I want to get the video editing, the intro sorted. So I need to do a lot, spend a lot of time with this. So may see a couple of videos. I don't know yet. Um, just see how things go. But I need, I want to go back to normal. I want to basically, I, I, I'll be. In front of the camera, you'll see me in front of the camera. I've got to do the meet me video and all that. So, yes, I want to get back on track. So, thank you, peeps, and catch you all soon. Bye.